It's not often that when we think of snakes in Kansas that we think of rattlesnakes, but they are here. Yeah, only about 8,000 people in the U.S. are bit by rattlesnakes mm -hmm. each year, and it is rare, but one Durham woman recently had that experience, and her parents are sharing her story of recovery and how you can stay safe, too. 28-year-old Bria Ongaro is a vet tech and has a love for animals, especially her horses. On July 23rd, she and her husband Cole got home late after a wedding and they went out to feed the horses. And when she stepped down to step between the fence so that she could go put it in the, in the horse troughs, um, she said, something stung me. The rare moment no one ever expects. A rattlesnake had bit her leg. Her husband Cole rushed her to the Hillsborough ER and called her parents Scott and Cindy. Your first thought is, oh my goodness, you know, they're poisonous, now what? Hillsborough did not have any venom because most small hospitals do not carry it due to the cost and shelf life. So Bria was rushed to Wichita. She had five anti-venom treatments to stop the spread of the venom. Because it kept swelling, that's how come they ended up doing the fasciotomy leaving Bria's leg with a large scar and lots of stitches. She's finally out of the hospital and slowly recovering. When people talk to us now, they say, how's your daughter? Second question, I didn't even know there was rattlesnakes here. So it was a little surreal for us. Bria's parents say to wear boots, watch where you step, and if you're bit, head to the hospital. Little things like this can happen, and, and yeah, it, it could have been a different outcome, but thank the Lord it wasn't. Bria is still going to need time to recover. The community has stepped up, raising over $8,000 to help her, and her parents say she wants to get better so she can get back to riding her horses. We'll have more on Bria's story and how you can avoid rattlesnakes if you ever see one on KSN.com.